Hello, I'm Candace Brock from the Special Education Department, here to show you how to update your IEP progress reports. Let's go ahead and get started. You, are, you should already be logged in to SuccessEd, so you want to click right here where it says SEIEP Goals. Scroll down to Progress Reports. When you click there, you'll need to type in the student's name that you're going to be updating the progress report for. So let me type in her name. And there she is. Once you click on that student, it will show you which annual goals are available and need to have progress statements written for them. So this student has an English goal that needs a progress report for the end of this reporting period. Before I begin though, you want to click on this expand arrow right here on the left to see if there are any other progress statements that have been written. The important thing to know about this is that sometimes you may see that there is the current reporting period that you're looking to update already loaded into the system. If so, that's the statement that you want to click on. If you click the green add button and go ahead and add in another progress statement for the same reporting period, you cannot delete it. Only district admin can delete that, so be sure that the progress reporting period you're looking for is not already loaded. In this case, it's not. As you see, there's no progress statements available, so I'm going to need to add one. You're going to click the green plus sign, and as you see, it defaults to reporting period 1. This is correct. If it wasn't, you can just click the drop-down box, and it will show you the other reporting periods that you can choose from as well as the annual review, if this was the end of this reporting period, then you would click on that one if you were having the student's annual review and needed to close out old IEPs. But because this is just the first reporting period, I'm going to click right there. It already has my name as the person reporting the progress. If the wrong name is entered, you can always click the drop-down box to find your name. And the academic year is correct as well. As you see, it shows the reading comprehension goal that is already in the system for this student. Right here is where you would type in your progress statement. Again, if you needed the wizard, you can always click right here to help you in creating that progress statement. And it shows you some options that you can use to, to put into that progress statement box and then add any other additional comments that you might want to add. I've already written this student's progress report statement here in Microsoft Word, and we recommend that you do that just so that way you already have it ready to go, and then it helps you with your spelling and grammar errors and things like that as well. So I'm going to copy that information and paste it right over into the progress statement box. All done. Click Save. Remember, sometimes that internet can move a little slow, but trust me again, it's working. And there you have it. You'll notice right underneath the goal, it shows you from the 2017-18 school year, reporting period one, the progress statement that's been added. Once you're done with that, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.